Hello and welcome to another episode of Just Jim. I'm Jim Luff for Aurora Payments and our family of companies. I share educational information that helps all merchants grow their business. Aurora Payments is ranked among the top six boutique merchant services providers in America. Today, I'm going to be sharing tips on how to improve the performance of your website with five simple ideas. When you decided to launch your website for your company, what was your goal? Did you want to sell products or were you looking to obtain leads or perhaps provide information? Most people don't have a definitive answer for this question. We all know that today's customer is internet savvy and they love to browse online. So your first website goal should be to drive traffic to your site. Without visitors, it's pointless to even have a website. Follow our tips to plan and prioritize your website goals. Now, before you design or revamp your website, establish a clear goal on what you hope to achieve with your website. Do you want to feature product of the week that boosts online sales, or do you want to educate your customers on an aspect of your business? As an example, a limo service might consider posting tips on their website for renting a, a limo on prom night, while a jeweler might want to focus on selling a special product that is perfect for recognizing anniversaries. And there might be more than one goal to your website. Consider asking your employees, friends, customers, even your suppliers, what would they expect to see on your website? I'll share this tip that's super important. Collaborative efforts always produce better results than a single vision. Now, once your new website is launched, it's time to track the success of your goals. Now, if your goals include obtaining new leads, consider tracking how many you receive each week and track those even further to see how many of those leads actually convert into sales. You can and should track the number of sales received each week, and that should include the transaction count and the actual dollar volume. So track success by monitoring weekly sales and viewing it as a percentage of your overall income. Let's say that 30% of your sales are coming from your website. You might wanna up your goal to 50% of your web uh, sales originating on your website. Think of the content on your website like a social media post. Some social media posts get lots of likes and lots of shares while some get none. If you feature a product for 30 days and no one buys it, you know that's not a successful campaign. However, if you feature another product and it has positive sales results, you know you found a winner and you should save that and repeat it for later in the year. If a particular campaign increases inquiries or leads, you know that with some additional tweaks, you can increase the success of the campaign. Monitoring your metrics is the key to planning future website campaigns. Now, if you're at all like me, you should schedule website updates rather than using a willy-nilly style of doing it when you think about it. Websites need to be constantly refreshed to make visitors return. If they see the exact same thing every time they visit your site, they're going to quit coming back. This means you need to make a schedule for how often your website will be refreshed and what will be refreshed. Decide how long a campaign should last and calendar the end campaign so you don't forget to take it down. And remember to also calendar planning of your next campaign so you're ready to update your site when the time comes. You may also want to consider delegating website pages to different employees who manage different areas of your business. If you have a sporting goods store, you might want to have a website page for baseball equipment and supplies and a separate page for billiards. And it would be great to have employees that manage these pages that are experts in what they do. But remember, your website pages must all have the same look and feel, and that's best accomplished by using templates. As we wrap this up, my final recommendation to you is to use web analytics. It's really hard to make course corrections without looking back at past success and even past failures. Track your website success using a web analytics program to monitor the success of your website. 
an analytics program can help monitor website traffic, visitor behavior, and even search engine positioning, and provide you with a lot of data that will help you with future planning and goal setting. Let me tell you a little bit more about Aurora Payments. Aurora is a network of professionals providing merchants with reliable payment solutions for any industry in any environment. We help businesses increase efficiency and growth. Our proprietary technology provides one ecosystem, one contract, one partner, one Aurora. As a full service provider, we have all the products and services, solutions, and support all in one place. We're an organization driven by a passion for helping merchants succeed. If you're interested in learning how you can eliminate credit card processing fees, send me an email to hello at risewithaurora.com or you can call me at 833-287-6722. That's 833-287-6722. You'll be saving money in no time. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Just Jim. I look forward to seeing you back here on another episode real soon.